Good morning. Welcome to day 15 on the Arizona Trail. I got started about the same time this morning. It was around 5.55. Just wanted to beat the heat as usual. So we have to do at least eight and a half miles today to get out of the park. And then uh, it's a good climb or a good chunk of that's going to be a climbing. But we're going to do more than eight and a half. We just got to start uh, getting a few more miles in. So um, just going to keep trudging up this hill before the sun rises. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. yeah. All right. Everyone have a good day. We'll see you a little bit later down the trail. Well, I'm still just trucking up this hill. Having Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. Birthday, mm, birthday cake flavor. It's pretty good, but <clears throat> it's just hard to eat between catching your breath. <laughs> It's going to be a long day, folks, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. There's the sun. I'm not sure what it is about this climb this morning, but I'm a struggling. <laughs> uh, I just can't get get going. Had a complete cookie. I think it's probably because I got five extra pounds of water on me. I'm sure that has something to do with it. I just want to get to the top of this bad boy. Well, that's about. Five more miles, I think. <clears throat> but we will keep on stepping. And we'll make it. And then we'll just roll down the other side. <laughs> okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, looks like we've come into a burn area and a little other sign here. <sighs> Where are we going? Manning Camp One Mile. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, on the Manning Camp. Oh yeah, you can see all the dead pines in there. Definitely. Definitely tell it wiped out all the vegetation. I mean, the only thing here, and it didn't kill all the big pines, a lot of them, or I say kill it, sure scorched them. But there's just nothing on the ground but pine needles and pine cones. But it doesn't look like it's very wide, not too far up here. Everything turns green again, so.
cool little cave right here. Nice little shelter there. Get you out of the elements if you needed it to. Little waterfall back in there. A tree that burned up in the fire and was crossing the trail, so at some point they come up here and cut a section out of it and cleared the trail. Thank you for whoever did that. Okay, made it to Manning Camp. <clears throat> Let's see what this sign says. Manny Camp, elevation 8,000 feet. Maybe that's why I'm having trouble. Ooh, goodness. Let's see what we got going on here. Like some stalls for the mules and whatnot. anybody's up here another beautiful toilet this must be part of the rangers cabin and station and whatnot <clears throat> firewood first aid deal Nice little cot. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, so I'm headed down to get some water. There's two gentlemen up there that have been here since last night, and they're spending another night. Oh, these little huts are for the fire crews that come in here and do trail maintenance and uh, battle the wild wildfires. So, on my way up, I was about... 500 yards from camp and uh, I passed the ranger Olivia is her name so she usually spends about 8 days up here she says and then uh, heads on back out and another ranger will come up here so uh, had a good conversation uh, said there are some black tail and Arizona black rattlesnakes up here so hope to stum stumble into some of those alright I'm going to get some water and uh, get stuff filtered and get back up there and out of here. This is just a beautiful little camp. Be a fun little place to come back to. Now it's a good hike to get up here. But it is really neat. Some propane stoves and fire pit, corrals over there. Just all kinds of I went down to the creek and got my water, but those probably aren't full. I don't I don't know. Anyway. So Ranger is out. Oh no, it's because I just saw her leaving. Hear a turkey in the background gobbling. Pretty cool little camp. I like it. Alright, I'm gonna get a snack and get on out of here. Nice. I'm sorry. Couldn't help myself. Just had to had to come to y'all again from the pit toilet. <laughs> Look what I got. A little reading material. I mean, this just doesn't get any better. Alright. See you in a bit. I'm gonna go find that turkey. He keeps gobbling at me. Meow, meow, meow. 
We just left Manning Camp. It was a really cool place. I would have liked to have rested there a bit longer, but I just needed water and to get back on the trail. So that's what we're doing. Cruising through the pines. Pines. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the top of the mountain. Whew. Took four and a half hours. I'm whooped, but downhill. Sometimes that's, that's hard too. It's hard on your knees. So, ooh, I see a little snow up here. Let's see, Let's see where we're at. Uh, That's what I'm looking for, my location. Uh, oh, you can't see that. 8,485 feet. Ooh, I felt every bit of it. <laughs> All right, let's keep on pushing. A little bit of snow remaining up here. Alright, before I get too far down, I'm going to double check because the trail went a few ways up there, so I don't want to have to backtrack. Looks like we're going to come out of the nice shade of the pine trees and get back out into the more exposed area on the back side of this mountain. I'll look at it here in a minute. all that burned area I just came down through it's been nice uh, haven't had any actual really much direct Sun a little bit of cloud cover today hope it stays Okay, looks like we made it to the park boundary. Well, so we at least had to do that today. Here's the uh, registry. So, probably give that a sign that here in a second. And let's just see. just tells you where you're going if you go that way entering no we're leaving but had a great time thank you very much 
Okay, so we're leaving the park boundary. It's 11.49. Doing pretty well today, um, but I'm uh, going to stop and find a place to eat lunch. Um, I did a re-inventory of my food last night. <laughs> I thought I had three days, but I only have two days left. So I'm either going to have to push really big miles and try to get my uh, reservation bump to Wednesday instead of Thursday or I don't know we'll figure it out I'm sure I'm gonna run out of food before I get to town but wouldn't be the first time I've uh, done that a little oversight on my planning <laughs> oh well all right let's find a spot for lunch shall we All right, <clears throat> found a nice shady spot just past the gate. So there's still a lot of downhill left, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna have, I've really got to ration my food. So I'm gonna have a bag of these, PB and dark chocolate, peanuts and stuff. And then, uh, well, I'll show you the other part. Yay, more tuna. So tuna, tortilla, it's the, it's this one. The basil pesto, it's really good. But today we're gonna add some of these uh, anchovies. Probably all of them. Get out. Mm. Yep, let's do them all. Can't waste them. <laughs> All right, roll this thing up and eat it. I know I shouldn't talk with food in my mouth, but guess what? <laughs> that doesn't apply out here. So I'm just having my deal here. Hmm. Mm. That's so good. And salty. I need that. There's all the salts in my shirt. Yep. <clears throat> so sometimes people ask why you use trekking poles. Well, for a lot of reasons. My tent sets up with them. It won't go up without them. That's an important one. I think, and you know, sometimes you stumble and you can catch yourself with those 99% of the time. Another thing is, if you think about it, if you're walking 12 hours a day with your arms hanging down by your side, your hands are going to swell. So keeping them up with the trekking bowls, it keeps the swelling out of your hands and arms. So there's a lot of reasons, but really once you start using them, um, you kind of feel weird when you don't have them in your hand. Yeah, you think you'd notice before you got a half a mile or a quarter mile down the road without them, but people forget them. So, all right, I'm going to enjoy my lunch, drink a little water, push on down into the valley, back into the heat. All right, see you in a bit. Ooh, <clears throat> looks like uh, I stopped in time just for lunch because I think our shade's going to get... Pretty sparse around here. Getting lower and lower and back into the shrubs and cacti. Or the manzanita bushes. Okay, I just made it to Tenge Verde Canyon. There's a little bit of water. We're gonna filter some water. I only need about a liter and and then that 700 milliliter. So I'm gonna get that. It's still early. I'm gonna push on. I'm feeling good. I'm moving strong. So 
I think we can get 20 miles today or real close. Uh, once we got up and over that ridge, the downhill's been been okay. Oh, I got a snack. Some fruit chews or something. I'll have that too. Okay, let's get this water and get cracking. All right? All right, let's do it. Okay, that's what we got. Looks decent enough. Oh yeah, nice and clear. Low algae. Alright, let's do this thing. Barrel cactus, huge. This is a fish hook. This friend over there is just as big. It's crazy. Awesome. Okay, we're at least going to Reddington Road. It's 240. We'll knock out that 2.2 and and see how we feel. Utah 650. Oh wow. I thought I was a closer. <laughs> okay. I know it's probably hard to tell, but we came off the top of that today. We were actually on the back side about halfway down. Hiked up it, came over, I don't know, we jogged all through there and now we're here. So headed towards Redding Road. I read the gut hooks note. Some other hikers said they left some food in the bear box, some honey buns and Oreos and such. So I'm going to get those. Okay, we made it to Redding Road. I'm just walking up to the bear box now. Let's see if there's any snacks. Let's have a look. Oh, oh let's just sit down here. Oh. All kinds of water. Water, water. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, there's a pack of tuna. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. Oh, rats. Well, folks, there's nothing for me. Here's some water. No snacks, so. Okay, I'll drink some water and start thinking about a camp spot. We tried. Raced here for nothing. Zingers and Oreos are gone. Okay, well, there was nothing in the bear box. I was a little disappointed. I was looking forward to some... Uh, honey buns and Oreos. Saw root beer, but I don't drink pop, so that was out. But, made camp for the day, did 15 miles, and a good chunk of that this morning was, um, was uphill pretty good, so. Otherwise, probably would've got about 20 miles in, but good place to stop. I got 15 miles to do tomorrow, and then about 12 the next day, and then I have a reservation on Thursday. Uh, at Mount Lemon little cabin there so I'll be able to get cleaned up resupply my food and get some more stuff uploaded to YouTube 
Other than that, I don't know, it was a good day. It's hot. Wasn't bad. It was kind of high high clouds for a good part of the day, so it was tolerable anyway. Um Yeah, that's the plan. Get up early, knock out 15 miles or so, and uh that'll be one more day under our under our belts. Keep on trucking. After Mount Lemon, my goal is to really up my my average. I know they put me behind a couple days because of my foot issues and whatnot. And knee. Okay, enough rambling. Hope y'all had a good day. I hope you have a wonderful night. And we'll see you in the morning on the trail. Good night. Just checking out my blisters. My Looks like my tape came off of that one. Anyway. That's one. There's, there's another one on, on my heel, but it's under that tape. You can kind of see the bulge. Hey. The other one is under there. So, oh yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. So, just uh, gonna clean them up a bit and let them dry out and go back on the trail in the morning and tear them up. <laughs> okay, guys, in my infinite wisdom, I've decided we need to we need to stab this thing and drain it before it gets any bigger. So let's just see if we can stab it. Oh, yeah, that went right in there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that thing squirt right over the tent. Oh, I hope y'all don't have uh, weak stomachs because that was amazing. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Look at that. That was a gusher. Woo. All right. I think that is going to be brand new tomorrow. That's going to be like... Like it's not even there. All right, I got me a freshen up wet wipe. Yeah. Clean it up real good. Let it air out overnight. Okay, sorry, I had to see all that. <laughs>